Welcome to Electro Online. Now here's an interesting test you can do yourself. Let's say that you have a ruler, you hold your hand open like this, and someone holds the ruler right above your hand. So let's say that the bottom part of the ruler is between your fingers. As soon as a person drops it, you will try to grab it. Of course, by the time you actually grab it, the ruler will have dropped a different distance. And depending upon how slow or how fast you are, faster you are, the less distance the ruler will drop, the slower you are, the more the, the ruler will drop. And so you can measure your reaction time by measuring how far the ruler dropped before you can stop it from dropping. And so the equation is as follows. The distance is equal to one half 980 times the time squared, where 980 is in terms of centimeters. So we're going to measure a ruler in centimeters. All right, so that means that uh, distance equals 490 times t squared, or you could say that t squared is equal to distance divided by 490, or t is equal to the square root of distance divided by 490. And let's say in our particular experiment, the ruler drops 42 centimeters. So what was the reaction time in this case? So you can say that t is equal to the square root of 42 divided by 490. So now we take a calculator. We go 42 divided by 490, and we take the square root of that, and we get 0 0.29. So t equals 0 0.29 seconds which is about equal to 0 0.3 seconds. So reaction time is about 3 tenths of a second. So you stand there, as soon as it drop, you grab it, see how far the ruler drops, and that will then measure your reaction time. And that is how it's done. We're done.